Well, it's August 2019, Gemini. Thanks for your company. And as you can see here, a pretty powerful, call it a traffic jam, wouldn't you, in uh, the heavens in your horoscope here. Gemini, your, your uh, sun sign. With uh, the sun, Venus, new moon here taking place with Mars in your third house, which is the natural sign of Gemini. A lot of communication going on, maybe a lot of restlessness as well. But certainly here, the opposition from Mercury and Saturn makes it probably a little more difficult for you uh, communicating what you want, at least in the first few days of the month, um, while this energy is still influencing your ruler, Mercury. Now here we see the moon swiftly moving away, the fastest moving body here into your fourth house of family affairs in the first couple of days, then into your fifth house of love affairs, romance, maybe even some issues to do with children. And that's going to be a bit challenging for you with these right angles to Pluto and Saturn there. So maybe a bit of an intensification of uh, that process. But you uh, still need to communicate. And that I think is the challenge that you have here with your ruler here in the second house. Second house has to do with money too. <coughs> Pardon me. So that's quite likely there are some issues surrounding finances for you uh, until Mercury leaves the position of finance here, this second house of cancer. A lovely combination here, however, which I think helps stimulate your communication and your relationships with Moon conjoining Jupiter here in your seventh house. Seventh house is the sign of Sagittarius. Not only love romance relationships, but here we see because of all this communication energy coming into this seventh house, this could be business partnerships and dealing with the general public as well. Not a bad time at all. You're very forceful, very opinionated, and this could prove problematic for you, especially with friendships with the sun, creating what we call combustion with Mars, which is the ruler of your 11th house of friendships, social activities, and co-workers too, because Mars co-rules this sixth house, which is your workplace environment. So it's important to use a bit of diplomacy. Here we see around the 12th Mercury moving out of this troublesome opposition to these what we call malefic planets into its uh, <clears throat> natural third house setting. So this is going to be more comfortable for you. We see, however, Mars moving and the rest of these planets will do the same later in the month from around the uh, 18th to the 20th. Mars will make its move into this fourth house. Now, there's a full moon up here. I'm going to just stop that for a moment up here in your ninth house around the 16th, 15th, 16th, having to do with your uh, philosophical beliefs, legal matters. <coughs> and maybe even long distance journeys that will at least be on your mind. By the way, the moon is your finance planet. So it's going to have more of an affinity up here in the 10th house, which is your professional achievement sector and your ideals with Neptune still here. And it's going to be there for a long time to come. So your dreams can be put into motion here, especially when there are favorable aspects. This one here is not so favorable to Jupiter. But here we see, for example, communicating your ideas to employers, to friends, uh, is very well fortified by Moon moving through this 11th house. This is also business profits for those of you that are running a business. The 11th house has to do with the gains you make from your business. Notice I mentioned Mars. Look at that. Very, very powerful emotional energy lending its support to the ruler of your 11th house, Mars. Then Venus, as I said, you'll start to see a shift away from Communication, not that you're not going to be communicating, but look at this conjunction with Uranus, a sudden turn of events, and that again is associated with your domestic sphere around 22nd, maybe even up until the 23rd here. The square aspect is not good. That means you are challenged by people in the family arena, your relatives, your mother in particular is ruled by this uh, fourth house. And having Mars here is not at all welcome. The sun also is a little problematic for your sun sign. These two planets can create disputes, challenges, opposition. In a more 
um, promising note, Venus here, which is a very friendly planet, although not well placed in Virgo either, can show some beautification, a bit of remodeling, refurnishing, um, and that can end up being quite nice for your um, domestic environment. This is also the sector that relates to your inner, your inner peace of mind, how you feel about yourself. So these planets here are challenging you, apart from anyone else, just about how you generally feel about yourself. Here we see the very last couple of days, Mercury moving into this same position again, and then the moon, which again gets ready for a new moon here, to double whammy having the placement of the moon starting the month in this area and then completing it. So you have to see that this is going to be a particularly focused point for you throughout the month of August. And while I'm at it, I should mention there's more on this if you'd like to check it out at astrology.com.au where we have the chronological sequence of the aspects. And yours truly, if you'd like a more detailed personal analysis of your horoscope, I've been doing it for 37 years. Love practicing. If you'd like to uh, contact me, if you'd like to uh, book a session with me, we can look at this in the context of your rising sign, lunar sign, and the time you were born to get a far more accurate assessment. Till next month, take care. Thanks for your company. Bye-bye.